What's going on guys? My name is Mark Wagner and today I'm going to be showing you how you can test products to make your first sales. Let's get into it. So I personally think that as a beginner, the best way to get your first sales is to use Instagram influencers. Facebook is great, but it's just really hard to get sales without spending a whole lot of money. With Instagram influencers, you have the possibility to make sales with the first advertisement that you run. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on how to test with Instagram influencers. So the product that you're selling is going to determine how you test. If you don't know what product you wanna start selling, then check the link somewhere above my head and I'll also add it in the description below. You're gonna to wanna to find niche influencers that relate to your product, but some products you're not going to be able to because they don't really fall in a niche, stuff like earbuds and most electronics. That's when you wanna to turn to meme pages. Meme pages are kind of a last resort because they're generally cheaper than niche pages, but they also usually aren't as effective. You're going to wanna to contact a ton of influencers through DM, kick, email, whatever. The reason why you wanna contact so many is half of them aren't gonna reply anyway, and most of them that do reply are gonna to be too expensive. I barely even look at the account before I contact them. As long as they have over 100,000 followers, then I'll shoot them a DM or whatever. Once you DM a certain amount of accounts, Instagram is going to come up with a message that says this action is blocked, but it's no biggie. You should be fine to DM more people in a couple of hours. Once you've found about three or more influencers that you think are a good value, it's time to run some ads. Make at least three ads per product with at least one of those being a video ad. Try to schedule posts for Saturday evenings. I like around 7 p.m. Eastern time. Also, Sundays work well for me too. I like 5 p.m. Eastern time for that. Don't run different influencers on the same day, but make sure you test every influencer with at least two different ads and preferably two different products. That's so you really know whether the influencer works or not. You're going to have to do this on separate days, but it's no biggie if you can't fit it all in one weekend. So let's talk about the most effective type of ad you should run. I get this question a lot and I'm not sure if I've answered it yet. The best influencer post is a 24 hour feed post. However, a six hour feed post is acceptable if you just wanna test an influencer or a product. The best way to run this is to put your username in the description and direct customers to your Instagram page. However, if your company's Instagram page looks like crap, then you may be better off going with a story swipe up post or a link in bio. All right, so just to recap, you're going to want to contact influencers between 100K and 400K followers. Run a six to 24 hour feed post that either directs people to the promoter's link in bio or to your Instagram account. Then you just have to figure out what's not working, whether it's the product or the ad or the influencer, and generally, it's the influencer. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and you took some value out of it. If you're watching this and you're probably just now starting Shopify, and that's awesome, be sure to start your free 14-day Shopify trial by using the link in the description of this video. You guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next one.